Jonathan was just quoting us some information yesterday that he heard about, you know, everybody's thinking that we've got a few years left, but. Well, they're thinking that we're, you know, undersupplied, mm -hmm. uh, whether that's current inventory or inventory in progress. Um, and uh, God, I wish I could remember the, the lady's name. I can't. Um, she's basically saying that's not true. The inventory that we have available plus the inventory that is in current production is actually in excess of the absorption ability that we currently have. So, or, or will have. I don't believe that because we've gotten uh, over a million new people into the country just in this past eight months. <laughs> Yeah, Again. That's, that's a true statement. <laughs> that's hard. Um, that's hard to fight, right there. Yeah, I mean that's not a that's not a false. I don't think that's a false statement. Uh, um, yeah, I mean there are more people. It's the it's the people who are able to. Uh, it's twofold. It's you know, to fill in those those rentals. Um, you know, because I guess you know if we're overbuilding what she's saying, perhaps overbuilding on a class multifamily. There's going to be, be there of those, of those million people that are added. How many of those are going to go into a class top of the rents facilities? Right. right. Probably. I mean, probably not, not most of them. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, so we could have, and we could be overbuilding oversaturated on that front. Um, the, the, the one that I wanted to read in more detail is, you know, she's also saying on the single family side as well, which is a harder pill for me to swallow. Cause I'm like, man, is that true? W now, would I say that it's oversaturated potentially for first time home buyers? No. Is it oversaturated for, um, people who are looking for like their second, third or fourth home. I can maybe agree with that a little bit more, but on the, on the first time home buyer or the people downsizing, that's, that's hard to, yeah. Hard to understand. <clears throat> yeah. And that's the market that's growing the most, according to uh, data that Barry Habib, I don't know if you mm -hmm. follow him um, that he's put out, he's showing that, uh, you know, the average age of people buying a house is 33, 33 years ago. We had one of the highest birth rates, the millennials. And, yeah, yeah. And it continues to grow over the next three to four years. Well, most millennials are, mm -hmm. you know, right around that age, uh, probably between, I think at this point, you know, 29, 28 and up, um, they're getting into that, you know, where they want that house, that fa perhaps that family, mm -hmm. um, if not, you know, at least a dog or two where they can run around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there's, there's, uh, I mean, there's good points on both sides that they're making and, and, um, you know, who really knows? Well, the, <laughs> only, the only, God. yeah, the only <laughs> thing that, that, uh, and I apologize, I can't remember this woman's name. She accurately called the top of the market in 2005. And that's what she's famous for, or, you know, what made her famous. Um, so, you know, when someone accurately calls something like that, and then they say, Hey, here's the reasons why we're, we're over, we're over um, in overproduction of single family and multifamily. Then, you, you know, it perks up your ears. You want to yeah. listen. Yeah. She's like a no Nostradamus. I know. <laughs> We'll see. Yeah. There, there's a lot of people making a lot of speculation and, and it's just it's such an odd situation that we're in to begin with. It's, hey, if you, it's hard to see what's really going to happen. 